Hey everyone, this is Brian with Measure Square here. Today we're going to do a quick tutorial and walk through on how to create a bid inside of our Measure Square CRM. Our CRM bid editor will help you create, manage, customize, and submit more bids while replacing programs like Microsoft Word, Excel, and PDF editors, all being backed by our Measure Square integrations. To get started, we'll begin on our home page where you can see all the different projects that you're working on, and we'll dive into one of those real quick. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is attach a takeoff to your project. If you see in the top right corner, you can see we've already added one. These diagrams or takeoffs would be pulled directly from our Measure Square Cloud. Now that we're in this view, we can see a basic rundown of our takeoff that we've already created, as well as some basic product info. Now to create a bid, we'll first need to create a worksheet, allowing us to fine tune our numbers and any data that we have associated with it. Hop into our bid editor to get one last look, see any final customizations, and then we can create, finalize, and send out our bid. We'll get started by creating a worksheet. In the takeoff view, we can go to create quote, and on the right hand side, there's a drop down arrow. We'll click that to go to our worksheet view. And here you can see some of our data is already populated. Now that we're in our worksheets, you can see that our data has been pulled over directly from our Measure Square 8 file. The worksheets is broken down into three main parts. On the top, we'll have our product line items where we can fine tune our numbers. In the middle, we'll have any related text sections to our bid. And at the bottom, we'll have a summary section with final adjustments. To get started, we'll review our top section here with all of our numbers and line items brought directly from our Measure Square 8 takeoff. Scrolling down a bit, we can see all of the different text sections related to bids, so scope of work, inclusions, exclusions, and project notes, as well as terms and conditions. And each of these have associated libraries, so you can quickly select and choose so that you don't have to retype all of your information over and over. And lastly, we'll have a summary section for profit markup, margins, tax, and any other additional adjustments that you want to include. Once you're satisfied with your numbers, you can create a bid from this file by clicking New Bid in the top right. Now that we're in the bid, you can see on this top section we have any related info, so what contact and project this bid is related to, any billing and shipping addresses for this, and dates associated with the bid as well. As we scroll through, we can see all of our data from the previous screen has been inserted directly into this bid, as well as all those notes from before. Now that we've reviewed this, we can go ahead and click Save. And now we can see our bid's been finalized into a PDF. By scrolling through, we can see again that all the information has been inserted in, as well as some additional diagrams related to our takeoff at the bottom. By scrolling back up to the top, we can see that on the top left corner, there's a ribbon labeled Draft. This ribbon will track the status of our project as we send it out and eventually get it signed. On the right hand side, you can see some of that bid info as well. So what project it's on, what worksheet came from, any activity is so associated with this bid, as well as settings. If we scroll back down to our line items, we can change the values and rows inside of here by toggling these on and off. For instance, I will hide material labor. Likewise, we can even merge add-ons, as you can see with this FT1 Trinity tile. Scrolling back to the top, we can email this out to your general contractor and we can track the status of this. To get started, I'll email this out to myself. Here I'll click send, and then I can open up this email inside of my personal email and show you what it looks like from the contractor's point of view. Here from the contractor's point of view, we can scroll down and view the actual bid. And again, we can see that PDF that we created for them in the same format as we had on our final page. If we navigate back to our CRM, we can see that it's been viewed. Now going back to our email, we can scroll back to the top and actually sign this document. And again, we can hop back over to our CRM and see that it's been approved. And likewise, on the right-hand side, you can see the activity tracks anything that's been updated according to this bid. That covers all of our main features for bid editing, creation, and management. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and if you have any questions or want to try out our CRM, please feel free to reach out. Thank you.